Welcome to the Hyperspace Vault. David Alex here, back with another unboxing and reviewing. And today we are going to, going to be looking at Star Wars The Black Series, Titanium Series, uh, Helmets with Darth Vader and Stormtrooper. And as you can see here, they are very detailed. And... There are the Black Series, of course. And then, um, the Stormtrooper looks really good. And Darth Vader, he has, um, really cool details on him. Like the original trilogy Darth Vader. This is number three of the set. Um, we picked this up at a store called Five Below. It was only $5.00. So we got a really good deal on this. Normally these little helmet sets go for like twelve to fifteen dollars. So this this wasn't bad at all. And they had a few others there that were from like the um um Force Awakens helmets, stuff like that. But since these were from the original trilogy, we we went and picked them up and to do a review on them. Now Alex is gonna read the back of the box for you. So first we're gonna do Darth Vader and then Stormtrooper. Darth Vader. Once a heroic Jedi Knight, Darth Vader was seduced by the dark side of the Force, became a Sith Lord, and led the Empire... Uh, what is that word? Eradication. Eradication of the Jedi Order. Stormtrooper. Equipped with sleek armor and powerful weapons, the Stormtroopers enforce the will of the dark side. Okay, now we're going to open it up and see what they look like. I can't wait. If you haven't seen our other video, um, Helmet's video, then go ahead and check that out. It has see Sabine and Darth Vader from Star Wars Rebels. The animated TV show that just went off. It was really sad. So here we go. We got him out of the box. Um, on the last one, um, on the last one, uh, Sabine can't come off her stand, and I can't wait which ones come off the stand. Okay, so now we got him off, um, out of the box, and, uh... Free of the blister pack, and we're going to take a closer look at each one of these. Okay, so first, we're going to look at Darth Vader, because we read his thing first, and I got to be careful, because his top thing comes off. You're excited, you're probably just like, take it off. I'll do that in a second. Now you see here he has a lot of detail. Um, he, it, I'm sorry Hasbro, but this does, the, you might not be able to see this on the camera, but like on the front, he, it's like this part is black and this part is gray and it just doesn't look right. I'm sorry Hasbro, but um, this is pretty good. On a scale to 1 to 10, I think this will be... Yeah, it's almost like they forgot to paint part of it or something. The mouthpiece is painted black. The this little the cheek on this left side over here is painted black. But this one is not. It's gray. And then all around the eyes is gray. And so is it kind of... It is off a little bit. So... Now this one, the top does remove, and it exposes his upper features, which is really cool. But the only bad part about this is the lower part of this helmet is plastic. This is not metal up in here, and the faceplate is not metal. Um, the helmet is metal, so you just slide it back in, and... And then it kind of snaps on, but it really, there's not really much that holds it. So, back to a scale of 1 to 10. I think I'll give this a 7. Um, not a 10 because of its face, but a 7 because of that removing helmet feature thing. So now we're going to take a closer look at the Stormtrooper. Wow. The Stormtrooper is really cool. Um... The paint is really good on it, except for there's one little paint defect up here on the top. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer, you can see that. Oh yeah, it's like a... Yeah, there is a little paint defect there. But oh, other than that, I don't see anything else. Everything looks really smooth. 
and glossy really clean and uh, if you look really closely you can see um, that is you can see like that green eye effect and that's in a stormtrooper it's so cool um, Hasbro you did a really good job on this one uh, and um, this is really cool um, I like that they're metal and we'll just keep on doing reviews on this see if we get better so now we're going to compare the Darth Vader with the Star Wars Rebels Darth Vader which might be a little fun <laughs> so let me fix this helmet here there we go so we got this they barely even look like you know I don't know what to say look at that I like the Rebels one a lot better just for the simple fact that it was it's um, um, all metal this one is all metal even though the top doesn't remove from this one it the face plate and everything is metal and it's real glossy and shiny the, this one here I guess I'm assuming that they were going after a um, new hope look which would have been a little duller but then it doesn't make sense that the the helmet is so glossy if that's what they were going for because this part is down in here the face plate is all dull but the helmet is really shiny and the paint is really good on the helmet. There's no, there's no uh, paint defects on it. So, so that's really cool. But uh, these are, we do like these. These are really nice, really cool little things you can uh, display in your collection. Um, and that wraps up this review. And we'll be back with another video soon. And I hope you like this video. And make sure you subscribe and. And like our channel. And we'll be back with more reviews soon. May the force be with you. Always. Bye!